Oh, I have more faith in Patrick Mahomes throwing for 290 because number one, that's what he always does, bomb unequal or not. And the Philadelphia Eagles secondary is porous. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon Tierney. Welcome to Put Your Money Where Your Mouth Is. The Super Bowl Extravaganza brought to you by BetMGM. Now, the game is pretty simple. Each week, two of the greatest sports minds around compete against each other. To make you a little scratch, we'll find the best bets for the Super Bowl. Off the side of Warren's the cash. End of the show, we'll throw that one big bet for the big game. Let's go get it. All right, let's meet our competitors. First up, 12 years in the NFL with the Eagles, one of the best place kickers of all time. This guy was muddy. David Akers is on the show. What up, Dave? Hey, thanks so much for having me on. And, uh, man, I'm fired up to, uh, to let Dante have it. That's for sure. All right. This is going to be a good, fun matchup. And going up against David, the aforementioned Dante, Kansas City legend, absolute joystick in the open field, and uh, one of the great specialists ever in the NFL. Dante, what's going on, buddy? Great to be alive. Great time to be a Chiefs fan. And a great day to kick David Akers' ass. Woo! <laughs> We're coming. Hot. Okay. So, as you guys know, when you played, there's a scoreboard on this show. There's a scoreboard. Loser's got to do something. So, Dante, what is the loser doing? The loser has to take his own funds, take his own time, go out and purchase the opposing team's jersey, put it on, and post it to social media. I like it. I do like it. Can I throw a little wrinkle? It could be shot down if if, if necessary. But I like wrinkles. So, throw it at us. Okay. So, Dante, if you lose, you got to get the Eagles jersey, but it's got to say Acres on the back. And Ooh. Dave, vice versa. <laughs> little hole action on the back. Good? That, that is a wrinkle. Let's go. This is going to be spicy. Here it is. All righty, guys. First up, we call it quick fire. Pretty simple. I'm going to hit you guys with some questions and... You'll both have a chance to answer different denominations for each question based on the money. Uh, here we go. Right now, according to BetMGM, Travis Kelsey, he's got the shortest odds to score an anytime touchdown in the Super Bowl. Now, the next shortest odds belong to two players. So for $30, who's one of the other two players in terms of the odds to score a touchdown? Uh, David, why don't you go first on this? What are the two names? AJ Brown. AJ Brown. Okay. AJ Brown and uh, Dante, how about yourself? Isaiah Pacheco. Look at you guys. You guys both talk a world of smack and you're both donuts so far. Mm. And no blood, man. Jalen Hurts, Miles Sanders. Next shortest Jaylen odds Hurts outside of Kelsey. Miles Sanders? Hey, Dante, isn't this all scripted anyway? So. <laughs> yeah, who said yeah, right? that? That idiot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Number two. So, zero, zero. Uh, David, you're up first with this one. For 40 bucks. Name f everybody's got to have a good little snack during the game. Name five of the layers in a seven layer dip. If you can't do it, right, Dante can steal the 40 by giving us one more ingredient than you did. All right, David, start cracking, buddy. You got 30 seconds. Um, hamburger, um, nachos. Uh, I have no freaking idea what the world is in a seven layer. Um, Black beans, uh, okay. jalapenos. Um, mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. We get about, get about one right, right? I think we got one. All right, so good effort. I think you're gonna start saying shrimp and something else. I mean, you're just just pulling food names <laughs> off the uh, off the shelf. I respect it. Now, uh, Dante, you can steal forty bucks. You have to give us two. One more than David. He gave us one. Go ahead. Um, ground beef, black beans. Sour cream, cheese, jalapenos. Um, okay, we're good. We're good. We got it. Atta boy, forty bucks for Dante. Forty what bucks did for he Dante. Get that I didn't get. I said ground beef. No, you said hamburger. No, you what said hamburgers. Is what is that? You said hamburgers. It's <laughs> ground different. beef. Hamburger. Oh, and, uh, got... I get it. Oh, oh wait a second. Acres, are we already throwing f challenge flags during the show? Come on, buddy. <laughs> We've got refried beans. We've got sour cream cheese. We've got a little guac. We've got salsa. We have green onions, olives, or tomatoes. Not hamburgers. Next one. This one's for both of you guys, all right? So, in the past five years, which Super Bowl winning team scored the most points in the big game? Dante, why don't you go first? Can't see the Chiefs. Most points. You say the oh, Chiefs? No, no, David, no, 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 no. Philadelphia Eagles. You say the Eagles. David, who are you saying here? Yeah, I believe it's the Eagles as well. We confident about that, gentlemen? Fairly confident, very confident? 
Pretty confident. Nick Foles won the MVP. Okay, that works. Boom. Eagles, 41-33. 50 bucks right there. We're going to give it to each of you guys. Dante got 40 before, so it's 90 to 50. As we wrap up the final question here on Quickfire, number four. For 60 bucks, which of the following is not a real thing you could bet on for the Super Bowl? Number one, the Gatorade color poured on the team head coach. If there's going to be an octopus in the game, <laughs> the first cryptocurrency company to air a commercial or the color of Rihanna's first outfit. Uh, David, give it a whirl. First one. I'm going with the octopus. Okay. All right. How about you, Dante? Yeah, I don't see an octopus having any relevancy in this game. I go with the octopus as well. I tell you, get me a little grill, some lemon, a little paprika. We'll, we'll grill that puppy right up. We'll eat the octopus. But I'll tell you, that's incorrect. The first cryptocurrency company to air a commercial, they're not doing it this year. Amazingly, what we're sitting here thinking about octopus, no, we're not going to grill it up, even though I like to. I love octopus to eat. It's actually, if you score a touchdown, and then you also score the two-point conversion. So, boom, boom, the eight points, that equals the octopus. But the answer is C, so no blood on that one. Gotcha. Wow, learned something new today. All right, guys, let's keep it moving. We jump into a little thing we call KC or Philly. First up, though, Dante's got 90, and David right near a tight one. He's got 50 so far. So here's the deal. A couple of the sports facts. I'm going to hit you guys with them. I want you to identify if it's a Kansas City thing or a Philly thing. Pretty basic, all right? First up, uh, Dante, you'll hit the first one. They've got an American Basketball Association team called the Grillers. KC or Philly, Dante? Uh, it has to be Philly. Okay, how about yourself, David? Yeah, I believe that was Philly. Okay, the answer is Kansas City. That is not correct, I knew there was an gentlemen. I just did a Sports Hall of Fame thing with, with Philly, and I knew there was somebody from, from an old basketball league there. It was, hmm. Should pay a little bit more hey, it's the right sport. It's the wrong team there, Akers. We got you. This city's... This one, this is easy. Come on, guys. If we don't get this, we're walking off set. This city's Quakers won an AFL championship back in 1926. David Akers. That'd be Philly. Okay. How about you, Dante? AFL, Philly, Quakers. Yeah, I got to go Philly. Quakers, Philly. Yeah, got to go Philly. Yeah, it makes sense. The Quakers, I got you. Boom, it is Philly. 40 bucks a piece. Good work on that, gentlemen. Finally, guys, this city's fan base thinks they lost the Super Bowl because the parade route was leaked before the game was ever played. Anybody believe in jinxes? I don't know. What's the answer, Dante? I got to go with Philly because Kansas City, we don't make excuses. That sounds like something Philly would say. Really? Well, that's a little shot there, Akers. Represent your people. What's the answer? Can I change my answer? Uh, let, me, let me confer with the judge. Sure. Why not? I think I want to go KC because I don't remember Philly making it to the Super Bowl and losing. Okay. Let's go Philly. Okay. Let's go Philly. All right. You're switching. All right. Sometimes they say stick with no, your first I, I kept it the same. We'll I kept it the same. I kept it the same. <laughs> all right. <laughs> David? Somehow, I think with all the NFC championships we went through, I believe somehow it was there in Philly. I'll tell you. Now, it's the process of deduction. Got to piece things together. 2004, the answer is Philly against the Patriots. Good job, Akers, on that. And Dante, I said Philly as well. Yeah, but I'm not, I mean, yeah, I mean, you'll get the points, but I'm not about to say good job. You really get the that. <laughs> he went back Let's and forth. Honest, How many Dante. times did he get all the <laughs> points? Come on. I mean, back and talk about vacillating. All right. That's like you in the open field, cutting left. It's kind of like right, watching him on the joystick. Going. It's just back and forth, back and forth. And then he scores. What the heck? All right, guys, we keep it moving. We call it Prop Masters. This is always fun. I've got a pair of dueling bets, okay? I'm going to throw them out there. You're going to tell me which one you're gravitating to, and then based on the answer, I will award some money. 50 bucks to the person I agree with. Quick peek at the scoreboard here. Dante at 170, David at 130. We've got a tight one so far. Good stuff. Number one, Patrick Mahomes to throw for over 290 yards and a half, minus 115. Or Jalen Hurts to throw for over 238 and a half at minus 110. Who do you have more faith in Dante? Oh, I have more faith in Patrick Mahomes throwing for 290 because number one, that's what he always does, bomb equal or not. And the Philadelphia Eagles secondary is porous. So because of that reason, I like Patrick Mahomes. Oh, okay. David, how about you? 
Well, I, I don't know what defense he's been watching all year with the Eagles, but uh, uh, the one that gave up 40 points versus Dallas. Carry on. <laughs> oh, that he one. Yes, out, yes. He throws out one game of the year, right? With so many injuries out there, but that's okay. If that's what we have to choose from, I do have to agree that I believe Jalen Hurts is probably more equally effective on his on the on the ground as in the air, um, and especially since Patrick's ankle. Has, has been having some issues. So if that is our bet and choosing, then I have to agree and go with the same bet on that, but for different That's reasons. That's okay. No, but no, for we different can do reasons, that. I don't think he can throw up that many yards in the game. And that means our, our, our front four is not getting after it. There's a lot of things to go into. We play underneath coverage a lot, uh, you know, to give the underneath routes, not give up the big plays because you're not running the deep route on them right now. So anyway, I guess if we have to go, that's the way I'm going to go. Yep. You know I what? That's okay. Day. You guys reach it a little bit of a different way. I, I can I can hand out 50 bucks in each direction. That's fine. All right, guys. You ready? The next dueling bet. Uh, David, you're going to go first on this one. Jalen Hurts to rush under 49 and a half yards, minus 115, or the coin toss result being tails, minus 105. Which one do you like better, David? I think Jalen's going to run over 49 yards. So I'm going to have uh -huh. to go with the, uh, the coin flip. Okay, Dante. I like the corn toss to be tails. Tail never fails. We all know that. And I actually pay attention to the corn toss. Tails never fails. I like tails to happen. I think Jalen runs for over fifty yards. I, you know, listen. We, now we're getting a little bit too agreeable here, right? I mean, but but that's. I, I don't know how I go against you guys with this. Jalen Hurts can rip off. 37 yards rushing in the first series. I'm not saying he will, but he could. The coin toss, you can lose, you know, conceivably in, in, in a second. All right, so I, I think we're splitting the uh, splitting the basket again. 50 each, we're split. Oh, this is going to be a doozy at the end. What you they say, your 50 great minds think alike. That's right. Uh, Chris Stapleton's national anthem to be over or under two minutes and five seconds in length both minus 105. What do you think? Over or under? Dante. Easily over. Chris Stapleton, he's a white guy with soul. And you know anyone that sings with soul, it's going to be freaking elongated and extra <laughs> and a little sauce on top. Chris Stapleton yeah. is definitely going over two minutes and five seconds. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you get, you get the stage. You may as well max out. I'm going to stay here exactly. for a little bit, everybody, okay? Exactly. I got you. David, do you see it differently? Maybe maybe he's in a hurry. Maybe he's got to go to the bathroom. I don't know. I, I'm going to say this, and I hate to say this. I'm going to give it to Dante just for knowing that Chris Stapleton is a white guy with that much soul, and that is the way he sings. So the the points have got to go to Dante on that one. But I uh, You know what? I, I, I will do it. I, I, I appreciate that. That is very noble of you. Uh, that is incredible sportsmanship. Um, you know, because listen. it's Philly. We're the city of brotherly love, and that's what we do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so cordial down there. So friendly. Absolutely. Just, <laughs> just not on game day with an opposing jersey. Every yeah, other time, I, you guys are good. Hey, hey, do they still have a jail house uh, at their stadium? <laughs> they did it the best. David, do they still have it over at Link? I think they, they do. Definitely, they, have, they have stuff that they take care of people with, uh, you know, absolutely. All right, guys, this is it. We called the big slip. It's the last one, and it's go time. Dante, you lead the way with 320. David, right in within shouting distance, 230. So we have a tight one. The way this goes for the final round, very simple. Obviously, Chiefs plus one and a half against the Eagles in the big game. You guys come up with a bet, multiple bets. Divvy up your money however you want. Whoever's got the most scratch come Monday is the winner. Dante, since you have the lead, you set the tone. You're first up. Go ahead, Dante. Give me, give me the Chiefs line again. What, what's the spread? Chiefs plus one and a half. Oh, Chiefs plus one and a half, betting everything. 320 on the Chiefs to cover the spread. Let's go. Why am I not surprised Chiefs he's going cover. for the throat? Yeah. I knew you were going to go for the throat. I knew you weren't going to dance around this. He was going right. I like it. Good aggressive play. He's not here to mess around. Maybe Akers gets a little more creative. Maybe he attacks this differently. David, what are you doing? Well, this is a little bit over my pay grade with all what we're talking about, but the amount of spread that I gotta, I gotta find a way to kind of get a little bit more money back since since Dante's up right now. So mm -hmm. I'd like to split that 
So I'm gonna take my money and put it on the Eagles, you know, minus a point and a half. I do like that Hurts bet right now. I'd like to say that he's plus, so I'd like to do another half of that half, so a quarter of that into Hurts, uh, half of the, the last half that, that Hurts will rush more and um i have no dog in the fight i'm a jets fan so i'll probably never get to the super bowl but <laughs> if i'm david Akers, i gotta put a few bucks down on something to do with the kicking game so how about the longest i'm just throwing it out i don't even know the odds but we'll find it for you the longest kick of the game is by an eagle rather than kansas city oh i like that something like that yeah that's pretty good i like that put me down for the longest field goal and for Hertz running over, I think what he 49 said. 49 and a half. Yards. Okay. We're on the record, boys. We're on the record. Oh, well, I'd like God. to wish both. Someone's losing. And it's going to be a rough time in one of these cities. But you guys were great sports, great careers. Uh, I love watching you both. I got to go find film. I'm pretty sure I took one of Acres' uh, kicks to the house. Here I need, go. To go, need to go reach. And, <laughs> I think I took one to the house. I don't think that one was me, unfortunately, for you. Uh, oh, the parting shot. Enjoy the game, boys. Awesome. Thank you, guys, and respect to us right there, right there. My man, my man. And that'll just about wrap it up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below with your locks for the big game. Make sure you head to thegameday.com for the latest offers from BetMGM in a couple of weeks. Don't forget, we'll have a futures episode to make sure you're set up with all the off-season stuff. So get a little sweat going, enjoy the game, and we'll see you soon right here.